I, I don't have the bodies to put somebody on the magic task force. I just, I just don't have that body. So anything you can do to help us with that would be great. It would be a tragedy to see MS-13. Over the last six months, we've seen an influx in, in cases involving MS-13. And uh, some of the cases that we have investigated involve extortion. Uh, there have been a couple arrests made in, in those cases. We need funding for uh, additional bodies that we can assign to the task force full time. MS-13 came up quite a bit. Obviously, that's a huge issue, uh, and it's been a huge issue here in Mendota for a number of years. Uh, the Sheriff's Department and the local police department worked pretty hard a number of years ago with the big sweeps, uh, cleaned up a little bit, but uh, they're, they're starting to struggle again. I think that the congressman is very familiar about um, the challenges that are here, and he understands that he has access to funds that can really have an impact. So I was really glad to hear his focus on um, schools, on internet, on public safety. Um, I think he has challenges ahead of him, and of course he has to allocate those resources, but he seemed very receptive to continued conversation and providing that support this community needs. This is actually the first official visit that we've had um, due to COVID, so I was delighted that the congressman came here and was able to see some of the capacity that we're adding to the community, and hopefully he'll be back in a year, and he can see how much more has come um, to the community through the access of a more wellness.